Okay, welcome to Electra Online, and uh, by special request, I'm going to do some additional videos on conservation momentum. I looked at my repertoire and I realized I didn't put very many in there. So I was going to show you some examples of various situations, both elastic and inelastic collisions, both where they stick together and don't stick together and so forth. So let's start. Here we have a simple example where we have one mass, four kilograms, moving to the right with initial velocity of 10 meters per second colliding with a second object, mass two, 2 kilograms, and not moving at all. And so V final is, no, no, that's the question mark. What is the final velocity? And of course, the condition here is that the two will stick together. All right. Uh, it's also inelastic. That means that energy is not conserved. So we say that the momentum before the collision equals the momentum after collision, which means that M1 times V1 initial plus m2 times v2 initial equals m1 oop, m1 plus m2 because they stick together times v final so that would be the general equation of a collision between two objects that is non-elastic and where they both stick together after the collision even though i know that v2 initial is equal to zero i do like to write it in there so that we don't forget about it in the future so just always write the same thing down now right away we realize that v2 does not have initial velocity so that simply drops out so now we can see that we can solve for v final by taking this and dividing that underneath the left side so we have m1 v1 initial divided by m1 plus m2 equals v final i always like to turn the equation around so the variable i'm looking for is on the left side of the equation so v final is equal to m1 v1 initial divided by m1 plus m2 and then i go ahead and plug in the values of these so m1 was four kilograms uh, m v1 initial is 10 meters per second divided by m1 which is four kilograms plus m2 which is two kilograms and with a calculator do i need a calculator for that yeah well let's see we get 40 divided by six equals 6.67 meters per second so 6.67 meters per second signs are important remember vector the uh, momentum is a vector quantity so if something is moving to the left we should put a negative quantity in if something's moving to the right we put a positive quantity in in this case everything is to the right we get a positive answer so when they hit and stick together their their velocity together will be 6.67 meters per second after the collision and that's how we do that